You mind do me a major favor? Can you keep an eye on this golf ball? We're in Times Square, and we don't know where it's going to go. But it's going to be headed to one of the top 10 golf courses in Massachusetts. So let's swing in and look at all the top golf that you could play. But before we do, take a look at our channel. We're hitting all the states and looking at the top golf courses in that state and also the top golf courses in each country. So it's some interesting stuff you wouldn't want to miss. But let's zoom in to our number 10th on our list. Tee times can go up to as $165, but it's well worth this course. It has a slope of 140 and was built in 2003 by John Stanford. It has bent grass greens and bent grass fairways. With a total of 27 holes to play at this course and an incredible, as you saw, practice facility and has all the amenities one would need to get us started in our top 10 golf courses that are public that you could play. But let's zoom in now to number nine on our list, which is listed as a country club, but it's available for people to get involved in and play some golf. Now it does have very poor rankings online, but look at some of this aerial view. I don't know how it couldn't be a top 10. It's about 6,567 yards as a par 72. This Donald Ross course was built in 1927, has bent grass, bent fairways, is a slope of 124 and a ranking of 71.5. There's really all the amenities again to bring you in at our number 9th on our list. But let's zoom in quickly into our number 8th spot. And this one is called Red Tail Golf Club. And there's a lot to like at Red Tail Golf Club as well. The course was designed by Brian Salva in 2002. The course is 7,006 yards long and has a slope of 138 and a ranking of 73.9. The course also has bent grass greens and bent grass fairways with a ton of bunkers throughout most of the holes. Red Tail Golf Club offers terrific views and challenging play for golfers from every skill level. Well groomed fairways and greens keep Red Tail Golf Club a difficult yet friendly and the staff can offer tips towards your golf game. At least that's what it said in the website. Now this is an absolute bucket list golf course for anyone looking out to play but it does cost a pretty penny you're spending well over a hundred bucks to play Red Tail Golf Club. So let's look at now our top seven public golf courses in the state of Massachusetts. There sure is a lot of great golf to be looked at. So let's zoom in now to a fun course called Blackstone National Golf Club. And this parkland style course offers a lot of challenging golf. The course was built in 1999 by Reeds Jones. It has bent grass greens and its season is open from April to the end of December. It also is an 18 hole championship golf course that's a par 72, stretching 6,909 yards. The course has a slope of 132 and the ranking is 73.5. There's a lot of tee boxes to choose from, and each one having their own name, the black tees being the longest ones, calling championship play, while the red tees, the fifth one, is called getting started, which is fun, and you don't see things like that often on some championship golf. Now it's going to slowly move us into our top six golf courses now, so let's zoom out and take a look at number six on our list, which is a course built in 2000. And two and there's a lot to like about Pine Hills now at Pine Hills Golf Club the Nicholas course which was designed by Jack Nicholas was built in 2002 this course offers bent grass and bent grass fairways of course it's about hundred and fifteen dollars to play but it can drop down to seventy five dollars after three o'clock it looks like it's a long seven thousand two hundred and 43 yards with a slope of 135 and a ranking of 
2.2. There is a lot of great golf here at this golf club. But we are now moving into our top five golf courses left in Massachusetts. If you made it this far, I recommend subscribing. We're hitting every golf course. We're looking at them all. We're ranking them. And we're bringing to you the top golf courses in that area. So let's zoom in because now we're breaking into the top five. And this one is getting close to Boston. It might arguably be the best golf course outside of Boston from what we're reading online. And it hits you with a ton of history because this is a Donald Ross course built in 1938. Look at that clubhouse. It only stretches 6,357 yards. It has a slope of 726 and a ranking of 69.5. The 70 comes from the par. It's only a par 70. But this 18-hole championship golf course has greens that are bent grass and is open year-long, making it one of the nicest municipal courses in the state and in the country. But now we're into our top four golf courses left to look at. And there's a lot of golf still left to be played. And there's good ones left. So let's zoom in to number four on our list. And we're headed over to the side here at this great course called The Ranch. And it was built in 2001, stretching 7,174 yards. It has a slope of 140 and a ranking of 74.1. This par 72 is an absolute championship golf in Golf World 2010 Reader's Choice Awards. It listed the Ranch Golf Club as one of the top 50 public golf courses across the country. With six tee boxes to choose from, there's a lot of golf to play here. But it's about $100 to play. It looks like you could drop down to 65 on some hot deals on Golf Now. So that's pretty reasonable for playing a course right outside a massive city. And with views like this, it's it's, it's a bucket list golf course if you're playing outside Boston. And just like that, we're now moving into our top three golf courses left that you can play. And this one is an incredible one that we're going to be coming into at number third on our list. It's a bucket list golf course, obviously, and it's one that a lot of people know of if you're out that way. This Robert Trent Jones Sr. course was built in 1966 and is a par 72 course stretches 7,007 yards and has a slope of 141 and a ranking of 73.8. Now the rank, the, the, uh, the, you can drop down to about $30. So this is a very reasonable golf course on golf now. And again, there's, there's six tee boxes here at this course as well. Uh, those back tees stretching us just over that 7,000 mark, making it incredible golf. You're going to want to end up playing. But now we're looking, believe it or not, at the top two. If you made it this far, highly recommend you hit that subscribe button. What do you got to lose? Because we're going to be hitting some more golf. There's golf. They're building golf. We'll be updating these. And this one, if you can get over here, this is probably number one on our list in years to come. This, this is an incredible golf course that no one knows is out there. This link style course stretches 6,809 yards with a slope of 128 and a ranking of 73.6. It was built in 1963, but had some major updates in 2003. And just like that, we have one golf course left. And you might already know what this one is because it's just a little bit north from our number two golf course. So let's zoom in to Cape Cod National. And there's a ton of golf here in Cape Cod. We might have got this one wrong, but we're updating as we go. And we couldn't find the greatest footage in here, but since it's our number one golf course and their metrics don't lie, here is some cool footage of the grounds crew that we got because you know the grounds crew makes this possible and makes our list. It brings us into our top 10. If we didn't have a good grounds crew here, you would not have a top 10 list. A total curveball, and we couldn't find good aerial footage of this course. And 
typically we would get out there and try to get the footage in some of our videos but that's just not the case because the grounds crew is just doing their thing out there and this is why it's our number one golf course in the state of massachusetts so if you made it this far I would recommend subscribing. We're going to be hitting the whole world and all these beautiful states and countries. And we have one thing Heads left up. to say.